Okay, today for Marriage Monday, I'm going to go over our home management binder. It's just going to be a brief overview of what's in the binder. The printables that you'll see are, for the most part, going to come from Busy Babes Printables on Etsy. Uh, so, here's the cover page. It's home management binder. I have some stickers that I'll show you how they've been used, but these stickers were purchased in the dollar section from Target, also known as Target to those of you that don't shop there very often. Others of us call it Target. I have a pencil case that has the pens, pencils, some little divider tabs um, that can be used in the binder as well. Um, Busy Babes offered another cover, and so I use that one for this section. Now, each section is going to be divided off with a divider that has pockets, just in case I haven't had anything hole punched immediately. I know what section it needs to go in, and I can slip it in there. Uh, so the first one is basic information. It also has a um, list pad from Target as well that I've picked up from the dollar section. And I just plan to put this on the fridge to write down whether it's menu plans or uh, where we're going to be that day or what's going on that week. I haven't figured that out yet, but I thought it would come in very handy. So this is a list pad, magnetic on the back, so it can easily go on the fridge. So the first section is basic info. And what I did with those stickers is I wrote down what was in this section. So this section has important information in case of emergency, important numbers, usernames, passwords, and contact list. We'll go through this kind of quickly so you can see. So this one's important information, um, address, alarm service, lawn landscaping, uh, stuff about the car, just general information of it, etc. Um, this part has financial and medical information in case of emergency, it's emergency contact numbers. The next page is important information such as your local police department numbers like the non-emergency number, your doctor, poison control, those kind of numbers that you don't want to have to look up um, and take time to look them up in those types of situations you can easily write here. Usernames and passwords for different websites. And a contact list. The next section is on calendars and planners. So important dates from 2013-2014 be located here. Those will be dates that don't change. Uh, a week of planner. So it has the days of the week and section for notes to be written down. Uh, the family planner. I plan to start using this really September 1st, but I played around with it this week to write down what uh, is going on that week for the family. So each person has, I should say, my husband and I have a section as well as the dog, uh, and then the days of the week and where we're going to be on those days. So I made several copies of this, about 50 or so for the year. <laughs> Uh, to be exact. So that's what all that is. Okay, the next section is productivity, and it has another kind of to do list uh, with the what to do that day, schedule, who to call, email, errands that need to be run, dinner, uh, plans, fitness for that day, notes, etc. So several copies of that are included as well. Next one is uh, to-do list, split vertical, so a half page, uh, weekly to-do with check boxes and even a box for the following week, uh, morning routines, afternoon routines, night routines, something that might be helpful for someone with kids if there's something you want to write in and make sure that they do and you check it off and maybe when they check off all of them, they get some kind of treat. I don't know. I don't have kids. Um, the next sheet's another half page. Make sure you have eight glasses of water a day. So if you just are one of those people like me that you sometimes write stuff down just so you can check it off, it's another thing that you can use to check off. Uh, the finances section uh, says money, like emotions, is something you must control to keep your life on the right track. Obviously. Okay, so this one has bank account information. 
uh, you can write in your bills and payment tracker. So what bill needs to be paid, the due date for that bill, and then you have the months of the year. You can check off that that bill has been paid. Uh, check register. In case you don't like the little one in your checkbook, if you still use a checkbook. Or also just to keep track of your different debit card purchases and things of that sort. A debt repayment plan. Now this one is specific for each card. So whatever company it is, the account number, uh, what you owe, the credit limit, the interest rate, all that other kind of stuff. And then your payments. And you can keep track of how you're paying off that debt. And you also have a debt repayment plan for different debts that you want to have written out. So your debt summary, all of your creditors, the account balance, your minimum payment, what the interest rate is, and the payment due date. Kind of helps you figure out what debt needs to be paid first. A financial balance sheet with your amount of cash that you have. Uh, real estate, investments, your uh, personal property, debts that you owe, your mortgages, loans, all that great stuff to come down to the bottom, bottom line, your total net worth. Um, kind of an eye-opening experience if you go through that process. This sheet is a monthly budget. It has your expenses. Uh, what you plan to spend, what you actually spent, and what the difference is. I have a different budget system that I really prefer using that I'll post something about later. But this will be helpful um, for anyone really to compare your planned spending to your actual spending. Then there's also a monthly savings tracker here. So you can write down the month and how much money you saved that month for a particular goal you may have. Next section is the clean home. It has your daily checklist, um, what should be done weekly in the home, what should be done monthly, seasonally, uh, your yearly checklist, and it's broken down by month for everything that should be done in the home, which is awesome. Menu planning is next. has a section for you to do your weekly meals, a meal planner for breakfast lunch and dinner for every day of the week and a spot for a shopping list for those things um, you can plan out all of your monthly dinners if you would like and then there's also these pages to do a pantry inventory for the item whether or not and how much you have in stock and when it has to be used by so it's a great reference tool and there's another blank page for just you to write in freezer inventory so, you know, when you put stuff in the freezer, when it needs to be eaten by, these are recipe cards, and then a sample grocery list. Next section is shopping. It has a master shopping list, so whatever it is you feel you need to shop for. Um, a needs, wants list. And then an online shopping tracker, so you can keep track of when you ordered stuff, when it was received, your website company, all that stuff. Uh, home maintenance. This one has the appliance index. So you can write down the model numbers, the serial numbers, the manufacturer's phone numbers. That way you don't have to dig back in there whenever something breaks. Uh, home improvement projects list. So you write down things that you have planned. A home maintenance list. Things that you should do monthly, every couple months, every six months. Home maintenance log, when things were done paint project and color references so that you know what the colors of your paint were an auto maintenance log which we will use and will come in handy in a media inventory next thing is a party planner uh, for the occasion things you need to do food drinks all that good stuff a card and gift tracker so you can keep track of gifts that you've received and if you sent them a thank you note gift planning um, and an invitation and RSVP record the next section um, is vacation planner, also from the dollar section at Target. I got this packing list, but this one has um, different locations that you can research and look up, um, what you would like to see, eat, and do, and where you want to stay there, and a pre-travel checklist, uh, what to do on your way out of the door of the house 
and a packing checklist was included. And it's another packing checklist. Uh, while we are away, so if you want to give that to one of your neighbors, how to contact you, where you're going to be, any notes and special instructions to give the neighbor. And the final thing that came with her home management binder from Busy Babes was a pet information one. So I put Jordan's name on there because I love my dog. Um, so pet information, all of his info will go there. Shot records, heartworm schedule, things like that. And then a pet sitter note if you have a pet sitter for something. Where you're going to be, how to contact, things like that. I have a couple other sections that I'm going to add in at a later date for goals and progress, the blog, and then I have a couple of blank spots just in case, and some page protectors put back here because I like page protectors. So that is the home management binder, just a gist of it, and I will go over anything specifically if someone wants to see something more in depth, then I can do that. Um, at a later date.